Dev. I'm another Magento Dev. I've just finished live streaming. <clears throat> live streaming the debug number 11 and um, sort of got halfway through a upgrade to PHP 8. Um, and testing it out and I had a few issues because I, I, I sort of was demonstrating just going to 8.0 now looking at my screen now 8.0 was um, not 100% compatible with a lot of Magento framework <coughs> a lot of Magento core as well as um, you know other, other, other things the actual Magento community edition 2.4.5 it won't have in it so what I've done is, and I didn't get time to do it on the live stream, was I've updated all my PHP extensions and packages for 8.1, and I've run Composer Update. Now I'm only getting issues, which is good, uh, with plugins that are compatible with, um, sort of third party plugins that are only compatible with PHP 7, or versions of 7. Um, as you can see here, this Firebear one, which I'm going to have to look into, uh, but what this means is I can remove these for now. The one I'm most worried about, or at least I'm going to check now, is um, this SVD SV Developments slider options. Now this is a plugin that purports to uh, a give us the functionality in the page builder to be able to do um, the, the, to to control some of the slides to and slides. Um, what was it? Slides. Basically, some controls in the um, in the page builder. It's it's this one here. Look, that's it. Slides to show and slides to scroll. Now, I'm gonna get rid of it just to see if I can get this site working on PHP eight. But I'm gonna test this in the um, I'm gonna test this in the back end on the site to make to see what effect this does have on the. Um, on the page builder on, on the slider. Uh, if it's just that these um, options have vanished, then I'm sure we could sort of uh, live without them. But the, the look kind of, I mean, the look, the look like they're, they're, they're important to to slick um, in the page builder look, just front end for now, but they're not doing much. So I'm wondering if they've been taken over road or overwritten um, or uh, you know by other by another plugin or something or Magento have built it into their core or something it just seems strange it just seems strange to me I've never come across it before so if you know please hit me up in the comments and just say look this is this is what I know about this and this is what it does and and what have you composer require um no composer remove SV elements right so now I'm getting now I'm getting the, the fire bear issue um, I would like to resolve this, but it is a third-party plugin. Where you know I, I can actually um, I can actually remove it for the purposes of what I'm doing here. Um, it, it, I, I need to contact the plugin vendor and work out why this version doesn't work with seven uh, with eight point one, but also ideally get an updated version that does. And I'm sure they have one, and I will be in touch with them um, in order to resolve that. Um, but if I go Firebear, so this this obviously applies to any other um, that that logic applies to any other um, third party plugins that you might have. Um, you've got to contact the vendors and find out why they're not playing ball. Why is it come? Why has that come back? I mean, another way I could go about it is um, getting rid of that um, and getting rid of this. And let's see. Might be because of the something in the lock file. So, so basically, I'm running PHP 8.1 now. I upgraded from 7.4. Yeah, and it's going seems to be going through. So I'm just running Composer update. It's um, basically installing everything for me because I cleared my vendor folder and it should be installing all the new versions of of all these Magento modules. So now once this runs through, which should be in a second, I'm gonna run the big four. 
make sure I get no issues. Um, obviously, this video I'm doing now is a little bit of a follow on, really, from debug number 11. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description to that, and I'll put a link just up there. And there'll be a link at the end of this video as well to the full sort of live stream. Um, where obviously you get a little bit more context to what I'm doing here, but this in, in and of itself is probably going to be informative for for beginners, um, and, and, you know, and, and a little bit of insight into changing PHP versions and what might be in store um, for you when you try and do it, because it's not just a, f a flick of a switch, unfortunately. Magento is quite opinionated on its PHP on the PHP version that it runs on or that it's happy to run on and hopefully uh, this will go through now uh, which is basically going to pick up all the new modules it looks like PHP, PHP 8.1 is the PHP 8 version that Magento, that Magento 2.4 2 .4 wants to run on which obviously is the latest version so uh, you know that that's for people moving from 7.4 and wanting to do that um, before the end of November, when it, uh, 2022, when it comes out of security uh, support, then you're going to be looking at, ideally you want to be upgrading your Magento store as well. Um, let's see if this loads. I don't know if I've got a slider, because that's anything I'm worried about. Right, obviously the site loads, no bother. Um, just want to check about that. see what's going on with that slider there because it seems like a third party extension but it's not something I've installed from a third party Magento core you know the Magento core upgrade ins or, or install installs it by a composite from that SV development place so I want to see if it's had any effect so I have a banner on the front end So these are all things that you're best off testing, uh, stuff like this. You might get a slightly different problem. Uh, this seems to be running absolutely bob on on PHP 8.1. Um, as I say, there is just a little bit of an issue with regards to the module that I've had to remove. Obviously, I'm aware I've removed the other module and I'll get in touch with the module developers to, as I said, to resolve that, but that should then install no bother. I wonder if it's the product ones, because that they use slick. They use, these use slick, as far as I can remember. Um, are they still there on the front end? I'm sure these use slick, let me just check. Yeah, these use slick slider, and that plugin refers to being slick configuration. Right, let's check that one, so that's easier to test for me. Um, and, where are we, here we go. Unfortunately, I've got no frame of reference here. Although well, I might, I might have actually. Oh no, because I'm running everything on PHP eight now. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like you've still got number of products to display five. Um, I'll just refresh that because I removed that top banner. So I don't know if these are. I can't ever remember seeing these. Please hit me up in the comments. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever seen these, or at least recently in um, in slides to show. Uh, sorry, in in your sliders in the back end. Um, please let me know. Um, but I don't think we have. So I don't think removing that is a problem. I think it's deprecated. Have a go yourself. Obviously, don't do anything on the live site. Have a go yourself. See if you can get. Um, yeah, see if you can find out what that was with regards to, and if it affects your site, it might do. But the point of this video is make note of it, you know, brought it, it's to bring these things to our attention. But yeah, I'm running now this site on, so if I say PHP minus V, I'm running this site on 8.1, it's a Magento 2.4.5, and the core Magento seems to, seems to be absolutely fine with it, um, which is great great stuff and I'll leave that there so thanks for watching if you like this type of sort of content like and subscribe uh, there's more where that this came from and uh, yeah tune into my live streams just about every week and uh, I'll uh, see you in the next one